Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you so much for stopping on by. I appreciate it and happy Magic Card Community Day for you guys. Hope everyone's doing well. Got all those shinies out there and don't forget to evolve today. By the time I post this video, it might be too late. Ooh, we got a shiny on camera, you guys. First time on camera. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and catch this real fast. Hope you guys can bear with me. I'm getting low on Pokeballs, by the way. But anyways, today we're actually gonna feature a new Pokemon since it's new Pokemon Saturdays for you guys. Yeah, new every Saturday I like to post a new video of a new Pokemon which is super challenging to play. Last week was Obstagoon, but Obstagoon's been getting kind of popular lately. So I'm gonna check this last one and I'm gonna go ahead and hop into these battles. But actually before I do that, I wanna make sure I don't forget. Let's go ahead and get this community box. I've been saving up for it and I finally have enough because I really want that elite charge TM. So let's get it. Boom. Yeah, so now we got an extra elite charge TM. Sweet, we're broke now, but that's all right. So I wanna show you guys what team I'm running today. We're gonna to actually start in the middle of a set. I've been having a lot of trouble, by the way. Um, the last couple of days so i've been picking up a lot of l's as you will see when I, you see my ranking but today we'll be showcasing skarmory in the lead ferrothorn in the middle right there and the de demonic gary <laughs> that's a shadow gyarados and it has aqua tail as one of his charge moves so let's see how it goes i have no experience with this team i have not used skarmory much at all since season one i think and ferrothorn is still rel relatively new to me so I'm very nervous for for these these couple games I'll be playing, but I want to showcase a new new Pokemon for you guys and hope you guys uh, get some entertainment out of this. I'm not expecting to win a whole lot, and I'll be probably pretty delayed with my swaps trying to remember what team I'm running. So if we get a Scar uh, Mirror match, and let's see how we handle this. My opponent probably has a ton more experience with it, and it just kind of looks like my opponent's doing just a little more damage than me. So let's go ahead and. Let them throw the first charge move. We're fine with that. Let's see, sky attack, yep. Resisted, yep. So it looks like there was a little bit of lag there. I don't know if you guys noticed. So let's go ahead and throw our charge move. We've built up to a Brave Bird. Let's see if they would consider. Ooh, gosh, I need to <laughs> work on exercising the, the excellent throws. That really could be a game changer for uh, these mirror matches, by the way. And there's some more lag, you guys. So I'm gonna let another charge move come in. I actually don't know how much a Brave Bird would do to a Skarmory. I don't think it would take us out, so let's see what they do. Yeah, they're just sticking with Sky Attacks, no problem. Let's go ahead and build up a little bit. Threaten a potential Brave Bird on our end. See if we get excellent this time. Trying to make a more concentrated effort. They really need to make a Sky Attacks easier to throw, to be honest. So we actually get to another Sky Attack immediately. So we're gonna be able to force our opponent to make a decision here if they want to win lead and they do so let's see so incoming another charge move so we're gonna go ahead and let them win lead and then we're gonna come in with uh gyarados after this so some more lag here so let's see how we maneuver around this however we go down not a problem in comes the gyarados here comes the waterfall damage wow look at that waterfall damage you guys so awesome. So we have a little bit of energy now. See so what they come in with, Victory Bell. And we're gonna get shredded apart, but we're gonna throw off with Crunch first. See if they shield this. Yeah, so we did a decent amount of damage with the waterfalls. They do shield. Let's swap into our Ferret Thorn now. No point of waiting, I don't think. Let's try to get to his Power Whip quickly. Um, nothing the Victory Bell can throw will really injure us i don't think so let's go ahead and let one charge move come in so leaf blade so just a little bit of damage i want to get to this power whip quickly because even though all, all of the victory bells attacks are resisted on the spirit thorn the shadow victory bell just has such high attack <laughs> damage and we're we're not doing a ton of damage to the victory bell either so let's see if we can just get it out of here because we're <laughs> fair thorns our last pokemon and we haven't used a shield yet <laughs> so and Shadow uh, Gyarados is pretty low at this point. So I really hope to have an Azumarill in the back. See what they have. It's a Galarian Stunfisk. So Gyarados can actually do a ton of damage to that Stunfisk. But I think our Gyarados is too low now. Perhaps. Let's see how much damage we can do. The Switch Clock is coming up. So I'm going to throw the Power Whip now. Get the Stunfisk low. 
we're actually gonna do a pretty good job of resisting the the mud shots from this Galarian Stunt Fist. So let's see how much damage we can do. Oh, I wish the Gyarados had just a little more health, you guys. But that's all right. Let's see. We should get to another power up easily. So we're gonna invest our second shield here. And yeah, let's see. This is gonna be pretty close, I think. I just hope this power up is enough. Let's see if it is. Let's see. Yeah, once again, I'm so new to all three of these Pokemon. <laughs> So it's very, very interesting. Oh, it's enough. So, all right, we pick up a game with this spicy team, you guys. <laughs> Shadow Gyarados doing just a little bit of that waterfall damage. And yeah, waterfalls alone can take out the Galarian Stunfist. So awesome. So you see a little bit of the power there from the, the Shadow Gyarados. So awesome. We pick up a win. And wins have been hard for me. As you can kind of see, my rating dropped a lot. Uh, I think at one point I... I lost like 17 games in a row, yeah. Yeah, 17, you guys. <laughs> Not seven. <laughs> so we got a regular stun fisk here, and I don't think this is good for us. So let's go ahead and swap at some point. I'm trying to catch a charge move. Did we do it? Nah, no dice. Yeah, regular stun fists have, have been pretty, uh, I don't know, they've been really tough for my team. Every team I've been kind of trying to create, they've kind of struggled. <laughs> So let's see what my opponent comes in with. They come in with their own Skarmory. And I'm gonna throw the Thunder. So a lot of uh, people tend to expect a bait uh, with the first charge move, but we're behind and we need to catch up and boom goes the Dynamite, you guys. <laughs> so we did catch up a little bit there. And let me think about how I wanna handle this. I'm gonna let one charge move come in. Uh, and yeah, we're pretty low. Let's see, we get to in one more power. That'll be very nice. Okay, we can. That's all right. Let's come in with the the Gyarados now and try to look at that waterfall damage. See, it's just like a charm, really, on this uh, demonic Gary. So let's see what they come in with. It's a shift tree, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and just throw the Aqua Tail right away. Oh gosh, they got to a charge move. And let me think about how I want to handle this. So the Skarmory can come back in and do pretty well against the the shift tree. Oh, we actually threw the charge move. Huh. Well, let's see. Let's see how much uh, Aqu Aquatel resisted would do from a Shadow Gyarados. So they let that go and Skarmory is going to come in and, and just start shredding away. I'm going to go ahead and... Oh gosh, they throw off a charge move. I'm trying to think. I'm going to go ahead and let this go actually. This charge, ouch. They still have two shields, but the thing is... Um, Gyarados really can take out the stun fist with just fast moves and who knows what it can do with the shift tree shift tree is will resist obviously the waterfalls but they're pretty um they're pretty glassy though so let's save one shield for Gyarados and see what we can do yeah let's just see some mud bomb very wise of them I'm trying to get to a grave bird all right we can't this is fine so let's go ahead and just get off some of these waterfalls <laughs> so yeah at this point let me think we probably have enough for discharge and I think the shift tree have not thrown their uh, charge move yet so I think this is a good game so I mean we, we're testing out these guys so no shame no shame in our game yeah you see it does a decent amount of damage you guys <laughs> with even the resisted uh, the resisted waterfalls you guys because Gyarados is a very very strong attacker so let's go ahead and just get some of these shields off they probably have a charge move ready right yeah they do so Good game to my opponent there. So yeah, I think um, losing Lee was tough there. And if they had led with uh, Shift Tree instead, this game could have been completely turned around, I think. So yeah, we did a pretty good job. So let's see. So we actually, uh, yeah, I started in the middle of a set. <laughs> so sorry, you guys. Got to catch this Torchic real fast. I'm actually running really low on balls, so I hope this Torchic doesn't run. So yeah, hopefully all you guys got all the, the shinies you, you were hoping to get during this event. Uh, definitely a lot of magic cards out there and I know they're very difficult to evolve. They, they're going to cost you 400 candy so you kind of have to be very selective and making sure that you know you evolve one for Great League, Ultra League, Master League, and the Premier Cup and so on and so forth. Um, so yeah, so our rating 21.99, alright, we're on the uptick but I want to keep on playing a little a few more games for you guys with this uh this really weird team <laughs> and you can kind of see uh as a preview really for ultra league 
um, not the Premier Cup, but the, just the regular Ultra League, that Shadow Gyarados is going to be very strong, you guys. They're going to have a ton of matchups that they're going to be very favorable in. They actually beat Scar uh, not Skarmory's, uh, Swampers. So that's actually going to be really cool. So we get a favorable lead this time in Victory Bell. So let's take advantage of that. Let's see what they come in with. Um, oh gosh. Did I swap, swap in the wrong one? No. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> let's get... Uh, I forget what attacks they, this Fortress has. Do they have a rock attack? Alright, I'm just going to shield. <laughs> I tend to do so poorly when I <laughs> when I don't know my opponent's attacks. So let's farm up a little bit and throw the Aqua Tail and see how much it does. So it'll be a neutral attack this time. We've been throwing it as a resisted, I think, in the past two games. So they shield. Okay, that's fine with us. So they have heavy slams, and heavy slams will be resisted, don't, don't they? Let's throw another Aqua Tail and see if they double shield at this time. Yeah, let's see. The Victory Bell will come in and shred us apart, but Skarmory will come back in and shred it apart. So they let it go, which is okay with us. So let's see. Victory Bell is going to go to town. That's all right. We're gonna go go to town ourselves right here. See if they they actually their switch clocks might not be ready yet. So let's just ooh actually we threw an unnecessary charge move at this Bastiodon. That was very wise of them. And our Ferrothorn won't have much play against the Bastiodon unfortunately. So let's just see what we can do. Yeah, the Bastiodon Bastiodons have been very common. You guys haven't have you guys noticed that too? Uh, they've just been everywhere in my opinion. Um, People are no longer running Azumarill because there's so many like counters to them now. So we're gonna get this uh, Bastio down fairly low. Um, I'm gonna shield the flamethrower and just keep on chunking away. Hopefully I can get to two more power whips and really just like force their hand a little bit. Uh, so let's see. I'm gonna throw it now. While the Bastiodon doesn't have a lot of energy on it, my opponent might be just thinking, eh, it's okay to take another one. <laughs> so let's see. So they do shield wisely yeah they really should be using their shields on bastiodon obviously let's see if we get to at least one more power whip which could be a big deal so we do awesome so yeah i really wish i didn't throw, throw that sky attack on the bastiodon but it's hard to kind of always predict all the swaps uh let's see so they're going to take us out here victory bell has energy but i don't think any of victory bell's attacks would do any damage to skarmory so let's see if we can uh, we're not going to be able to farm. Oh, actually, they don't throw a charge move at us. Even better. Let's see if we get to a Brave Bird. I don't know if a Sky Attack would take us out. That's the thing. We just got to beat it to a Flamethrower and my opponent backs out. So yeah, this team causing some trouble, you guys. Yeah, that uh, Waterfall Gyarados really just like eats people up, even doing neutral damage to that uh, Fortress there. So yeah, let's keep keep on rolling along, you guys. Facing Golden Man Tran. Love the name. Love any names that rhyme, you guys. <laughs> so yeah, let's see. Yeah, Ultra League, by the way, is rolling around uh, around the corner. It's on Monday, so we gotta stick around for that, you guys. And hopefully, uh, you know, we'll be able to showcase a lot of new Pokemon for you guys. Uh, you know, there's a lot of uh, interesting picks for the Premier Cup right now that I want to test out. Uh, for Ultra League, like Shadow Dragon Knight. If you guys haven't checked out my last video, it's actually just a preview of what's to come, I think, for Ultra League Premier Cup. A lot of um, Swampert, a lot of uh, Venusaurs will be around, so you got to have counters for both. And there are Pokemon that will counter both of them, you guys. There are, so you just got to watch out for that. So let's go ahead and throw the Sky Attack again. This uh, Azumarill essentially will win the lead, I believe. I actually wouldn't, would love it if they shield, and they do, okay, awesome, and they can probably farm us down, which is okay, because we have Ferrothorn, right, so we've been trying to line Ferrothorn with this Azumarill for a couple of games now, we haven't even seen one yet, so we see one here, and we're just going to go ahead and let the Ice Beam come in, we might even commit to a farm down, actually, I'm trying to think, do I want to get my Ferrothorn that low, though, oh, well, we have no choice now, <laughs> so let me think about this, I'm gonna shield once at least. Just want to preserve my health. The ice beams are neutral, so we should be able to farm it all the way down at this point, right? Uh, nah, too risky. <laughs> and I think I might even be capped at 100 soon anyway, so I'm gonna just finish off the zoom roll right here. It's a one to one shield format. 
So we're a little bit behind right now. In comes that pesky pas uh, Basiodon. <laughs> uh, gosh, these guys are so tough. But we do have Gyarados, keep that in mind. So let's see, let's just try to get it a little bit lower. You know, I don't even want it to get that low. I want it, my, the Bastiodon to throw a charge move at us. But we're resisting the rock, uh, whatever that uh, fast move, I can't remember what it is, but it is a rock type fast move. So let's go ahead and force them to throw a charge move at us. If they're so low now, we might even be able to take it out if they want to risk it. And let's just go ahead and let the Bastiodon take us out. And we're going to farm up on this Bastiodon if they allow us. Yeah, look at that waterfall damage. But we're taking super effectives to these uh, fast moves as well. And of course, they have the shift tree. <laughs> Gosh, yeah. So it's, so we just have, have ran and continue to run into these like weird Pokemon in the back that just counters. And that was kind of what was the the thing I was running into a lot the last couple of days I've been playing and, and having my raining tank a lot has been exactly that, you guys. Just a lot of weird Pokemon in the back that are just like too strong and just counter this hard. Let's see how much damage this Aqua Tail does. Yeah, just not enough. If it took if it took it out by any chance, it would have been awfully nice. I wonder if I should have just thrown a crunch. Would that have done more damage? These crunches are resisted as well, but it might have done a little bit more. So yeah. Good game to my opponent. The shift she's gonna take us out. And you know, it's not bad. I mean this Shadow Gyarados has actually been decent. It just had some bad matchups, but it's been able to do some pretty good farm damage to the opposition, so there you go guys just want to show you guys shadow gyarados right there i think it could have some play definitely in ultra league you guys you never know um and i think right now the regular gyarados is number six on the ultra league premier cup list so uh, not the premier cup it's the the actual ultra league non-premier cup where you'll see a lot of cresselias and and Giratinas and Swamperts. Yeah, regular Gyarados with Aqua Tail, the new community day move, will be enough to um, take out all of the, those Pokemon in a one to one shield format, I think. So, yeah, I just want to show you guys. So, this is our spotlight new Pokemon Saturday. So, Demonic Gary right there. And I just want to show you some of the base attacks. Waterfall does a ton. Aqua Tail, Crunch. So yeah, next time in that shift tree match, well, I, I want to test out running crunch because we only were able to get to one charge move there. So might as well just throw the one that hits harder, right? <laughs> so I think that was my mistake. I don't think, uh, I don't know. It would have been tough. I don't think we would have taken it out anyways, but still good to know you guys. So yeah, thank you so much for checking out the channel, you guys. If you like this video and you enjoy seeing me run all these wild teams and embarrass myself every once in a while, please drop a like, comment, and subscribe. I appreciate it so much. And for any new subscribers out there, special, special shout out to you guys. Thank you for subscribing. And I hope everyone there have a great Saturday. Take care, everyone.